Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video on starting your first IV and I want to talk about my experience starting my first IV because I was probably tachycardic at about 150, my respirations were probably about 35, and I was super, super anxious. And so I wanna kinda of talk about my first experience and your first experience and what we can do about our first experiences. So starting with my first experience, uh, my first experience putting an IV, I was in med surge, I had just learned how to put an IV in through our, and got passed off through our competency. And I had the opportunity presented to me in the, on my med surge rotation and these, this patient happened to be probably close to 300 pounds and so you know when you're a little bit more fluffy veins tend to be a little bit harder to feel a little bit deeper and so my instructor said well you know who knows if you'll get it but you might as well try because you know not every stick's going to be easy so I got all my stuff prepared it probably took me legitimately 15 minutes to set up my stuff because I was so nervous thinking about every little step like oh my gosh did I prime the line oh my gosh did I do this and, <laughs> and I was so nervous and I'm trying to like talk to the patient through it too and actually the patient kept falling asleep so that actually made me feel a little better I was like okay if they're falling asleep then um, they're probably like not that nervous because if they're nervous and I'm nervous it's just not going to be a good thing if we're both nervous so I had my instructor there and I remember I did it in the patient's left AC and I put my first needle in and um, didn't get any flashback nothing and so uh, ended up pulling that one and the instructor said you know let's try again so I ended up doing it again and I actually got it it had to have been pure luck I had no idea like what I was doing you know I have idea of the steps but I mean really I had no idea what I was doing and I got it and my instructor was like super impressed because she, she was like expecting me to probably not get it because it was a difficult stick but I, I apparently aimed and got something and got that little flashback and I just remember I was like please let me see that flashback please 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 that's all I want is to see that flashback of blood <laughs> and I did and I got it and which was a good first experience because you know you don't always get every stick so that was my first experience. Um, I think most people have similar experiences as far as you know, feeling super, super, super nervous the first time putting an IV in. And it's a hard uh, skill to get comfortable with. You have to do it a lot to really get comfortable with, uh, you know, being able to poke someone with a huge needle and you know, learning that you have to have to go kind of quick and you don't just slowly slide the needle and you kind of have to jab it. And um, it's just all like the dexterity of it. So if you can practice a ton in your clinicals or like in your labs at school, that is what I recommend because just getting the dexterity of it and what you do and when you pop your tourniquet and the flow of it uh, helps a lot. So that way when you're in clinicals, you feel a little bit more comfortable with the process of it. Now it's just actually doing it on a human. And don't be afraid to do it in clinicals. Once you're able to, do it. Even if it's a hard stick, who cares? You know, if they're a hard stick, then you know, you're already going into it. They, you know, there are hard sticks. If you don't get it, well, they were a hard stick. Most people would have a hard time sticking them anyway. And if you do get it, it's like, oh, wow, maybe I actually know what I'm doing. So, you know, it's just something you have to practice. And, you know, it's a good skill to have in your toolbox, especially if a patient's IV goes bad or they need an emergent one or something like that, to be able to do it quickly. And, you know, just because you're not good at IVs or maybe not as proficient as it doesn't mean you're a bad nurse. Uh, but again, it is a cool school cool skill <laughs> to have. So anyways, if you guys have a first IV starting story, leave those stories in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.